All right, so here we are. We're starting in Cuyahoga Valley National Park. In Northern Ohio. There's our new stamp, love the stamps. So there, there's a lot of beavers on this trail. So here's Ollie with a beaver and an otter. This is the towpath trail, which runs um, about 100 miles, I think, to to Cleveland and Lake Erie. We didn't see any beavers, but we saw lots of turtles. Yep. And these beavers reclaimed what used to be an auto salvage yard, which is fantastic. Made it their own little wetland and marsh. And we were there on Easter Sunday, and there were quite a lot of other people there making use of it as well, which was great. Yeah. And th this is another view on the other side of the dam where, unfortunately, Ollie hurled. Yeah, that was not nice. Poor <laughs> kid. Then we went to this beautiful, there's another spot in the park, this covered bridge, which is gorgeous. And I didn't realize this, but this park was not established until Gerald Ford. In 1974, I think. Yeah. And uh, this is another stop along the towpath that pays tribute to the mules that carried, that towed the barges along the canal. What's this mule's name? Blossom. Hello, Blossom. And yeah, so this this is a really sweet area. Um, these are the locks that go to the canal. And uh, speaking about sweet. Aww. I love my muffy. So sick of getting my picture taken. Stop it. <laughs> so there's another shot of the lock and the canal. Just, it's, it's amazing. This was such a place of commerce. And of course, here's a push me pull you because Ollie's just going the wrong way. God bless him. So along the way, we stopped at like this um, place that's kind of like a like a rest stop. And then back at our camp, there's just dog prints everywhere. Yeah, you can't keep it clean. And we had like one afternoon in Cleveland. Um, this is on the way to Cleveland. Yeah, awesome. We paid 10 bucks to park at a place so Ollie could spend three minutes in a dog park. Tiny and dog park. Wouldn't you know it, he pooped before we got to of the park. Of course. Good Lord, what and a waste of time. And then after that, bucks. we wanted to get lunch. We got it at Mabel's oh, Barbecue, Mabel's. This which is so one good. of Michael Simon from the Food Network. It's one of his restaurants. And when you go in the restaurant, they want you to eat more meat. So we just said, okay. And there's some brisket. Lean brisket, by the way. Fantastic. The pickles were awesome. And we got a smoked turkey sandwich. Ow. And then we went to a park so we could get our picture taken with this gigantic free stamp. Isn't that where awesome? Where everybody gets their picture taken. There's Steve taking a picture of another crowd <laughs> of people. And poor Ollie, he couldn't wait to get out of there. He was just not in the mood to be in the city that but day. But guys, the Bumpus House, it's the Christmas story scene. The Christmas Story House is in Cleveland. But it's closed on Christmas. What's up with that? Well, it's so cute, though. All right, check this out, though. Look in the window. That gleaming lamp of sex. <laughs> it's so fantastic. And it's right in the middle of a little neighborhood. And then we brought some Mabel, the rest of our Mabel's oh, barbecue home. For, so great for leftovers. For later. World's best dog park. This dog park is seven acres big. Oh, my God. It has a pond in the middle of it. Ollie's there if you That's can see Ollie. him. That's Ollie. That whole thing is fenced in. Isn't that amazing? I mean, then, your dog poops at the other end. You were in deep doo-doo yeah. trying to get there. That's back at the campground at like 10 o'clock at night. And we made ourselves a little snack Lindsay plate. calls it a shark plate. That's not right. And the next morning after it snowed overnight, we woke up to this nice moonscape. Which was beautiful, but we literally, we, we're, this is us escaping the snow with like three inches of really heavy wet it snow. It was perfect snowman snow. It really was, but there were also beautiful little non-tin goats at this campground. Yeah, it was really cute. But when you have snow, look what Sue does. You gotta make a snowman. Of course you do. Especially when you have the little carrots. Perfect. Hey, we found out that Joe Biden has his own expressway in it, Pennsylvania. It goes to Scranton, which is one of his hometowns. So look, we made it home and Came found out home, that the bears had gotten bear here. Bear damage. Well, listen, we're safe. We're glad to be here. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. Thanks for following along. Yep.